in this video I want to show you this app called the HP ILO app. ILO stands for Integrated Lights Out. Now how this works is if you know about ILO from HP you can access by remotely you use this this unique network address. So I'm going to rotate this phone and go to this app. I hope you can see it. Right. Okay, first you can configure the ILO. You have this ILO network address. Which is your configured, your unique IP. First, so if you set it up from the server, they can add it to your server from here. So your ILO address will be your address you set up. Your login name will be your username. It's usually administrator. And the password will be, well, it's based on the tag. When you buy HP servers, pull out servers, you have a tag with a unique um, password. You can also save your login credentials and add your favorites. But I saved mine as credentials that way I don't need to type my password again. You can also scan the server. But here I'm not going to set it up because it's already been set up for me. So I'm going to press cancel. I'm going to type here my IP address, which is set up. It says Pauline Michael Server, Server 1. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to I can use the interface, use a script, or console. So I'm going to go to remote console. As you see, it's connecting. Oh, it's connected. And I'm going to boot up the server, so I'm going to press this on switch button. System power. You might not see it on the on the, on the screen, but it says mon monetary press. Let's press that. As you hear in the background, you can tell by the big fan, the noisy fan that is turned on, so I just boot up from there. So press to the side. I'm trying to zoom in. See, I can move around. See, Let me adjust the lens so I can so you can see the words. Alright, good. Let me just double tap the screen so I can take this sign off. Look at my screen here. If I go down, see the drives, go to the side, you see the the nine things right there. I can zoom in. Use my fingers to you need two fingers to move around. Right. Applying computer sense, that's why I spoon up now. Let me just 
face it straight. Let me just adjust the angle of the screen. It's better. Right. Control out delete. Let me tap it. I can do it from here. But I won't because I don't have a press from here, so what I'm gonna do is I use my keyboard. As you notice I can do this with a mouse. See? Touch screen. Let me type my password. I'll do it from here, but I don't even see it, that's why. Zoom in, there you go. Zoom, that's the full screen. So it looks like on full screen. Let me zoom in the camera so you can see the full picture. Yep. Now I'm going to do is zoom out. So what I can do zoom in. Got a dashboard. I got rolls and group. It's quite a good actually. Next. Let me zoom in. It's like touch screen, see? Let me zoom in. Cancel it. It's quite easy to handle. It's quite easy to use, actually. To tell you the truth. Why I'm, just, why I'm just demonstrating. I'll zoom in. Zoom in. And click and type on help file. Help. About server manager. See? Again, I'm using Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview 3. So I'm just showing you how his Allo works on his app. Let me close this. I'll zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Let me go to start menu. It's a lot of finger work actually. Waps. Office 2013. Word. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll set. Oh, okay. So I just want user settings. I set. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Let me use the mouse to close this. I take all the data I go on and on. What? Let's type something. Keyboard. Let's put Let me try again. This is Word. It's quite good to play with. 
So yeah, it's quite fun. I'm logging as Andrew actually, instead of admin, because if you're your admin, you can't use apps. But if you're create your account based on admin, you can use your apps. Do for testing purposes. I don't want to save it. So yeah, it's quite good. I can press this button, the disk button here, for virtual image, I can mount it, or put a physical disk in there. Press the keyboard. The tick means it's on. Oh, that's the ILO actually, that's the ILO web face, web face. Interface. Let's wait for it. As you can see, okay you can see from here. See? That's the interface. Already blanks on ILO. Let me zoom in so you can see. So you have all the basic information. System info. The summary, the fans, the memory. Let me exit that anyway. First off, so I'm going to exit this. Press the back button to exit the thing. I'm finally going to do now, I'm going to shut down the server. Shut down. Zoom out. Again, look, the mouse, touch screen. And there you have it. And now it's off. Quite a good app. Very good app. But if you guys think of buying this HP app, I'm using this mobile because that's what I've got for now. But if you think of using an app like this, I recommend that you use a bigger screen version of the app. When I mean bigger screen, meaning if you're a Mac user, you know, you use iPads and iPods. Use um use the iPad. If you're using if you use a Galaxy Android users, then buy one of those Galaxy tablet notepads. Those big ones. That's my recommendations. Because you know, again if you've got big screens, small user friendly for big screen users. Well that's the end of the demonstration. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think of this app. And thank you for viewing.